Hi, thank you so much for being here with us at the Suicide Awareness Summit. Just the fact that you're receiving these emails and listening to the speakers is a show of support and helping end the stigma of suicide and mental health. So we thank you for that. My name is Sarah Kuoko. About three and a half years ago, I was introduced to the world of nutrigenomics. So what is that? <laughs> I didn't have a clue. Um, what it is, is the study of how our genes are affected by nutrition. So I had actually been introduced to this by my sister, who is an RN, and we were looking for a way actually to try to avoid, honestly, Alzheimer's. We have a really high propensity of Alzheimer's in our family, and unlike things like diabetes and and weight and stuff, it was like things you know that there are certain things to do or not do to avoid it. We were really kind of at a loss when it came to the Alzheimer's issue. So that was the reason for jumping into this. And the, the basis for that is this is a nutrition uh, supplement, nutrition information that is based on each of our unique genetics. So it does involve a DNA test, and then we get a report back. At the time, it was one report. Now it's four. <laughs> um, and the report I'm going to refer to today is our, our uh, healthy aging, our wellness report. And so that comes back and it gives you information as to regard to um, 18 actionable SNPs, which are a SNP. It's, it's technically, it's a single nucleotide polymorphism, which in layman's terms is... Um, a variant on a gene, okay? So some people call it a weakness. So what this does is looks at 18 of those that tells us where we may or may not have a propensity for an issue with that particular gene's functions. So why is that important? Our genes and cells work symbiotically to make sure that we're functioning all right. Sometimes we have variants on those genes, the SNPs, and can develop issues where they are not working as they are meant to. So in the re areas of like um, cellular functioning, um, cardio support, lipid support, detoxification, these are the issues, um, and uh, inflammatory response. These are the main issues that we're looking at. Um, after taking, after doing my, my, um, my DNA test, getting my results back, I started taking my custom supplement, which was based on those results. And this is a raw food supplement. It's not a bunch of tabs and pills and stuff just kind of taken off bottles on a shelf. This is actually raw food supplement that is mixed every month and delivered to me. So, like I said, I didn't really expect anything because I was doing this as a way to try to avoid Alzheimer's. And there's no little, there's no timer that goes off or a little flag that pops up and says, all right, you're good, you're in the clear. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. That's not how health actually works in any way, right? So knowing that I was doing something that was good for me, knowing that I was supporting my body in areas where um, it needed it extra, then I was getting the exact nutrients that have been clinically and shown and studied to support those genetic and cellular functions, I was feeling pretty good about that. Along the way, I learned a few other things and started having, um, I did start noticing some things, which, which surprised me. I, I didn't expect it. Um, some of them were pretty significant. Others were interesting. One of the things that I noticed was how I had, I had recently started having anxiety attacks. This is back four or five years ago. And they started out very small and I really didn't think too much about it at first, but it was becoming more prevalent. And um, I noticed that once I had started taking my nutrition, which is what our supplement is called, I was no longer having the, the severity. And after a while, I stopped, almost completely stopped having them. Um, and I thought that was really interesting. That was definitely not something I would have expected because of just taking a nutritional supplement. But here's what I've learned since then. 
Most of us look at nutrition as a way to either affect our weight. When we think of nutrition, the foods we eat, we look at our weight um, and how we're feeling physically, right? And when we start looking at nutritional specifics, we learn that there are things, uh, certain foods help cells in different ways. And the healthier our foods, the cleaner our foods, the more it helps our cells. Why is that important? Well, because we are literally just a whole bunch of walking cells. <laughs> we have skin cells, we have hair cells, we have eye cells, we have nail cells, we have um, heart cells, we have liver cells, lung cells. I mean, we are literally this big, I don't want to say glob, but it's a kind of collection, a cohesive collection of cells and each cell has a function. If it may be for keeping being our heart and keeping it beating it maybe muscles it may be skin it may be your, your hair whatever well if those cells aren't functioning as they're supposed to we can have problems that's where we have diseases come from and that's where we have inflammatory overactive inflammatory responses which is something i also deal with um but we don't usually associate food and mental health we do associate food with stress, as in uh, being really stressed out and sitting down and eating a whole carton of ice cream. We know that we have comfort foods that make us feel better, but we don't necessarily truly associate those with our mental health. And the reality is, is they are very closely related. They do impact each other. Now there are no, there's not like one specific gene that can say the person with this is predisposed to depression or bipolar or any other um, mental health issues. However, through research, and which is the same type of research that helped us develop these supplements, it has been found that there are several genes that can, combine when combined, if they're not functioning properly, can affect our mental health. It can affect our mood. It can, um, as I said, it can affect depression, bipolar, schizophrenia. There's a lot of things in mental health that are directly related to our nutrition and cellular health. So that's why I wanted to talk about this today with you a little bit. So to start thinking about that and what we've done is I, I, I can't give you this report and say, okay, you are or are not predisposed to depression or anxiety or anything else. What I can say is that since I started taking the supplement to support my genetic weaknesses, my anxiety has almost completely disappeared. Um, everyone's a little different. Some people can have different reasons for having mental health issues. It may not be genetic, but it very well could be. And the beauty of that is if it is the, the source, the root cause of it, which a lot of research is kind of starting to show that there are some definitely some genetic influences. The nice thing about that is we can help support our body, our mental health by addressing our nutrition. So if you're interested in what I've done and how you can possibly benefit from the same, I would invite you to look in the comments to get my information. Um, I am available for a Zoom call or a chat or a phone call. If you have questions, I will have a, a, a link below for that as well. If you would like me to send information, I will have an email address. Also, if I do have a PDF that I'm giving out that is specifically foods that can help or make worse our stress. So in other words, foods we want to either focus on or avoid to help us control our stress in our life. Because yes, it's all connected. Thank you so much for giving me these few minutes of your time. I do appreciate it. Again, please reach out to me if you have any questions, if you're interested in the testing or you just want the PDF, um, or you just want to chat. Either way, I'm available and I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day. And again, thank you so much for being here.